Hello and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and uh, building them and other Lego related content. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego Marvel, Marvel Spider-Man perhaps. The set is called Miles Morales versus Morbius. It is set number 762. Four, four. It has 220 pieces and I paid $25 for this set. The set uh, is essentially this car build, which I was a really big fan of because it's similar in some ways to some Speed Champion stuff. And then there's some, some play elements here and a couple minifigures to look at. I was a little so-so on the price. 220 pieces is is not as big or as many pieces as a lot of Speed Champion sets. $25 was more than I was used to paying for Speed Champions at, at the time. The only reason that's kind of my reference, my point of reference here, is because it's a vehicle, it's a car that is similar in, in many ways. It even uses the Speed Champions wheels here. And there were cool building techniques that reminded me a lot of a of a Speed Champion set. And I also, uh, so that 220 pieces for 25 was a little bit eh. And before I bought this, I had bought the, um, the Batman Penguin uh, Chase set that has a Batmobile. That set was $30, so only five more dollars. Still had two minifigures, had some extra cool stuff, some play features. That car was uh, bigger and more detailed, and I believe that set had a considerable amount more parts. So I was kind of so-so on this. Uh, I did end up buying it for the retail price, and it's really great. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very happy I did. It, it fits nicely with other vehicles. And actually, it's a good companion to that, that Batmobile um, set in a sort of cross-universe type of way. So we're going to be taking a look at this set, and I'll give my thoughts as we go through here. But um, I was a little concerned about the price, and now I think it's pretty darn good. So the first thing I think we will take a look at is the minifigures here. So it comes with two minifigures. The first one I will show is the Spider-Man minifigure, or the this is this is Miles Morales Spider-Man. Um, so this is this is okay. I really like the printing on the torso and on the uh, head. There, there is printing on the back of the head, although. It doesn't wrap all the way around, and I don't like how it's just like straight up a grid. I would have liked kind of more organic looking like the uh, like the spider web design on the front of the face there. But this torso is good. There's no printing on the arms, no printing uh, really there. Um, the back print is, is pretty good as well, and I like the finer detail up near the collar. Uh, no printing on the midsection here, and no printing on the legs, which I, I think it really could have used, but maybe this is a Miles Morales who is in sweatpants or, or something. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and so maybe the suit is actually kind of under something else here, and that's kind of what that's showing in the torso, but I'm not positive. So if you know what this is supposed to represent, uh, maybe he's the costume is fully under uh, another outfit. I'm not sure, but that's a fine minifigure, and I'm happy to have a Miles Morales. And then the next one is the Jared Leto minifigure, uh, or the Morbius minifigure. It is not a Morbius from that movie, I don't think necessarily. I think it's more from the comics. Um, Really interesting face print on here, really detailed, uh, even down to those really tiny teeth in there, and angry and wrinkly and very pale and vampiric, and uh, that's good. The detail on the torso is really kind of subtle. Some of this in this black, you can kind of lose some of those that those details in the design, suggestion of some physique um, behind there. No printing on the midsection, no printing on the legs. Look at the back of this one, and again, we get this kind of really almost hard to spot design there that I think is really, really nice. and. He does have an alternate face, which is a more of a 
uh, like, like, I guess, contented face instead of a, a fully uh, aggravated face here. And the hairpiece works pretty well. I will also talk about the uh, the kind of things that the minifigures come with. Uh, they're a little bit like a side build, but I would just call them minifig accessories. So here, we, this is really interesting. This is like vials from a lab. Uh, presumably, they're supposed to be vials of blood, and they use an upside-down uh, cup or glass, wine glass, or, or, or just chalice cup for minifigures with some... Uh, tiles there to give the impression of liquid in the bottom of a flask from like a lab um, or, or something. And I believe this is like supposed to be normal hemoglobin red red blood. And this blue stuff is supposed to be like blue blood, which is maybe like the, the vampiric kind of Morbius uh, blood that is different. Uh, I'm not positive. It's if, if those are indeed blood, um, it's an interesting thing for Lego to do. I don't think they often uh, choose to show blood like that. So that's most for the Morbius character. Spider-Man, you may have seen, I did have this attached at first. He has a little uh, translucent light blue here attached to a clear thing. That is because the set has you build uh, this and extend it out of his hand as if he is shooting his webs at uh, potentially Morbius there. So that's kind of his main accessory. And while I talk about that, I will just grab the rest of them. So this is three pieces, this big web, this uh, one right here, and then uh, four pieces, then some trans light blue uh, cone brick there and, and a, a rounded plate. Um, but these light blue or trans light blue kind of spider web elements come in a pack of uh, several things and, and they're not all used. So I will show those here. Um, this is things that would come in that pack as well as uh, the two elements, not the really big one, but these these two elements here on the back of the car also come in there so we get this is supposed to be like webbed handcuffs i believe so uh, a minifigure could put both both hands in there and, and clip on to that and then we get a bunch of extra spider webby pieces in there um which is which is cool i, I don't know if i've had this i think in most sets that come like these these pieces just aren't parted out really ever they're just they come in a bag has all of them in there and then uh, Miles Morales, or what's no Morbius rather, I guess, comes with uh, two little bats because he's a vampire bat person, uh, and so we have two of these bats, which are really really cute and can be used in a, some some interesting interesting ways. So we have the bats there. That is most of the minifigure uh, accessories and minifigures. So then we can take a look at the vehicle here. Classic kind of red and black, very sleek, very cool. I like how it comes in uh, almost an hourglass shape there. The curve is nice on the front. This is, I think, a little shorter than a lot of Speed Champions cars, but this, this back... Uh, propulsion from the engine is is extends it quite a bit there um, and that piece is is fine uh, we can just take a look it's a transparent kind of light light blue well, it almost looks like icy or something but uh, it's supposed to be propulsion from from the vehicle here uh, and this use of this piece on the side with these these kind of tiles or ingots there in the black the red wheel well here and the black one up front work really well i really liked these um, molded pieces here that are almost like fangs almost that hang over and the lights kind of uh i think replicate that same kind of feeling which is great because spiders have fangs occasionally and, and so do vampires so as this being for a morbius and miles morales set i think that's really really neat and, and it looks like venomous and, and and miles morales's venom is cool this on the front this this sloped piece here is a print 
which I was very surprised to see. Um, I don't think there were any stickers in this set, uh, which again was a, a surprise, but a very pleasant one. Um, so that's great to have. It looks, it looks pretty darn good. And it, it, the way every, it flows with all the other detailing is really, really nice. Uh, just kind of a, a kind of basic transparent red windscreen here. This piece is really cool. Um, and these sides are basically done the same, studs on the same build. Some of the, the way these angles are achieved, very reminiscent of a, of a speed champion car. So that works really, really well for me. Very pleased with that. The back, we can see uh, some more suggestions of lights with some different transparent pieces in there of different colors. We have the spoiler on the back. There's a little bit of articulation in there. Whoops. And... Uh, so it could be tilted up and kind of leaned level. It could potentially be leaned back and, and made level or angled in a certain way. So there's a little bit of, of, of play in there or there's a little bit of leeway in there. Uh, Miles Morales can fit in there. If we look at the uh, kind of driver si side here or in, inside the driver's seat, we have these round tiles with the printed kind of speedometer looking thing there's two one on either side and just a basic steering wheel in there um and i think that's pretty neat and then at the back we have what i i assume are kind of supposed to be uh, a, a kind of a hidden detail here and I think they are an accessory for Miles Morales and these are simple but I think these are supposed to be spray cans for, like spray paint for graffiti so Miles can leave his tags around town and so those kind of go in what what is eh, it works as essentially a a trunk in here and it's easy enough to access those and that's one of those hidden details that I always think are uh, like push a set um, over over the top for me into something like truly special uh, because um, most most people wouldn't wouldn't notice those or wouldn't be aware of those and it's not till you you look under the hood so to speak to really see the extent of everything that this set has to offer as far as play like i said minifigures can be put in there there is a stud shooter on either side for studs to be uh fired at at whatever uh, at morbius or at the bats perhaps and this car is pretty sturdy um and i think it it's a good size i would probably take off uh, these elements if I was really going to be rough handling this just these these side ones on here come off kind of easy if I was going to be playing with this or if a younger person or any any person who would play with this set um, I, I would probably take those off depending on how involved the the play is there um, but this is great and like I said these are the speed champions wheels if we look at the bottom not the normal speed champions chassis but kind of an older uh, chassis there and we get to see more of of this piece that has these fang type elements coming off of it really really nice build um, it flows great the, all the choices of when when it should be black when it should be red there's almost like an inverse uh, of in the front and the back and it just looks sleek and awesome and fits Miles Morales really really well we can take a look at the extra pieces here that are not just the the ones that come uh, in that that bag of web accessories there's some some good stuff in here a um, couple more translucent pieces one of those speedometer uh speedometer type prints on the tile translucent yellow translucent red translucent blue translucent light blue and then some some black and some red um pretty pretty standard extra pieces there so this set is 25 dollars uh for 220 pieces some good molded pieces in here like some kind of specialty stuff uh prints this print especially two minifigures um and it's it's ip and it's marvel and it's licensed and 
I think that that's worth it. I, I liked the um, Batmobile as well, uh, but um, and I'll talk about that in a different video, but this one is also really great. I actually, because... Um, because Speed Champions has done like the Fast and Furious cars and the um, the 007 car, I was I was kind of interested in more uh, like IP focused or movie themed uh, or character themed Speed Champions sets that kind of were were both. It was a Speed Champion and followed all of the constraints and and needs to meet a Speed Champion, but also being a kind of a car from a recognizable property that I was interested in. And this is not that. It's not officially a Speed Champion's vehicle. It is a Lego Marvel uh, Miles Morales vs. Morbius set. And there are a lot of similarities, but this is kind of what I was hoping for. And so if they don't release them as officially part of Speed Champions or whatever, and they do things like this, I am more than happy to have uh, this set with me in my collection. And I think could be put displayed next to other Spider-Man stuff, other Marvel stuff, could be played with. This could also be displayed next to other movie cars, movie Speed Champions cars. And when I have a, a display of all my vehicles, I'll have some of the Icon series ones that are bigger, and then I'll have some of the Icon series that are also a car or vehicle that are IP focused, like the DeLorean, and then I'll have all my Speed Champions, and then I'll have this, the cars that are kind of more uh, character properties there. And I think they all fit together really well and look really great. So this set was, was cool. I think, yeah, for twenty five dollars for two hundred twenty pieces, um, the price per piece count is not great, but I would still recommend this. I was very apprehensive because of the price and because I had bought and built the Batman one um, before that, which is is bigger and 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 different for different reasons. But uh, after getting this. Uh, big fan. So I really like it. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And if you like the content on my channel, consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all the other Lego content I will be doing in the future, including if you're interested in seeing that Batmobile uh, Batman Penguin Chase set, I will be doing a video on that in the near future as well. So subscribe so you don't miss that. And until then, thanks. Bye.